Hello everyone. Today we are going to tackle questions on the topic of symmetry to help you score like one mark for PSLE. For a start, we describe some symmetrical or symmetric when we can divide the item into two parts that match. So for example, look at this shirt and look at the phone. When we draw the line down, the left and the right matches when folded. So the line that is in red is what we call the line of symmetry. So to help you remember this concept of symmetry, you can use these two words to combine the concept together, which is similar because of left and right, and this word geometry because it deals with shapes. Okay, so in your primary school learning of mathematics, you actually learn this in primary four. So in primary four, you have learned to identify symmetric figures. And you have also learned to identify lines of symmetry in figures. So if you need a recap, you can look at your primary four textbook. The textbook is a very good tool for revision. Okay, so coming back to PSLE, usually there's one or not more than two questions that deals with this topic. And it's a giveaway mark. It's a question that you have to score. So let us look at the first question here. It says, write down the letters which has or have the dotted line as its line of symmetry. So do not be tricked because this question, they want you to observe this line here. So you may be wondering that the letter A, hey, it is symmetrical, right? Because I can form a line down and left and right, it matches when folded. And then for W, same thing. If I were to draw a line down here, left and right matches but again you look at the question it says you have to use the dotted line given so i cannot use this red color line that's over there i have to use the dotted line given so if i match if i fold the top of the letter a to the bottom this thing actually comes down here so a is definitely out Okay, for W, same thing, this, uh, this part here, if folded, it will come here. And there's nothing over here that overlaps. So this is out. Let's look at our last answer, um, last option, which is letter E. So cutting it across like this horizontally, when folded, this point matches this point. So we can say that letter E is the answer year 2018 paper so four letters are given on a square grid how many of the letters have a line of symmetry so let's look at letter z if i were to draw a straight line down i don't think the left and right matches how about a horizontal line mm, horizontal line doesn't match as well so the last try that you should have is the diagonal line so looking at the diagonal line, you might think that this point and this point matches, but this line and the other line do not match. So if it's symmetrical, the line should cut across like this. Okay, so the first answer, the first option is out. Then letter E definitely, because I can cut it across like this. So yes, letter S, I can't cut it vertical. And I also cannot cut it horizontal or diagonal. So letter S is out. Letter T, I can cut it downwards vertical and it forms a um, symmetric figure. So my answer is number two. In which of the figures below is the dotted line a line of symmetry? So to, um, for a fact, all the four figures, they're actually um, identical just that the line of symmetry is drawn in a different direction and they want you to find which one is the correct one. So um, an important fact is to, to identify that the line of symmetry is incorrect, you just have to ensure so long as you can find something that overlaps in a wrong way, that diagram is not symmetrical. What do I mean? So let's look at option one as an example. Okay, at this point, it should be equidistant from the line of symmetry to the bottom. 
So that line should be here, but it is not. So as long as you find that, you can find something like an error in the in the diagram. It is not a, the line of symmetry. So option two, you just have to find again the same thing. So let me find maybe this little dot here. The distance, it should be around here, but it is not. So this is out. Number three. Okay, so since the line is downwards, vertical, this point and this point matches. This point and this point matches. But if you look at this point, if I were to draw a line and if you use your ruler and you match, it should be somewhere around here. Okay, then you look at this point. It continues to stretch, but on the right hand side, there isn't anything. So this answer is out as well. That leads us to our last answer. So this point, this point matches this and this, this and this, it matches. You can see it's equal distance from the line of symmetry. And this distance, same thing. So that is one way that you can identify the line of symmetry and to help you identify if the diagram is symmetric. Our answer is number four of nine squares. Four squares in each figure are shaded. Which of the following is a symmetric figure? Keyword, symmetric figure. Which means if you are able to find the line of symmetry, it is symmetrical. So the first diagram, the first option, we can't draw it here because the left and right would not match. We also cannot draw it here because this and this does not match. How about horizontally? Nope, it does not match as well. Then how about the other way diagonal? So this and this do not match as well. So option one is out. Option two, how about drawing this way? No, this way, no, this way, no, and this way. This way, this matches, this matches, but the only one is this diagram. You can't find it here. So option two is also out. Option three, if I draw it vertically down, the left and right matches, but over here, this should be gray in color because of this. So nope, it's out. So the trick here is to find, if you are able to find one um, symmetrical line, your answer is correct. Now le that leaves us to the last answer. We can draw a, vert um, a horizontal line and you will see that all left and right, um, bottom and top, it matches. Can you see it's equal distance from the line of symmetry? So our answer is number four. That every time when we when we are given a figure, we can use the line of symmetry to find to prove whether the, the figure is symmetrical or not. So the directions of the line that we can draw is either downwards, vertical, horizontal, or diagonal. So you apply this into any of the figures given, you should be able to find the answer. So let's try with the first one. So we try this, it's out. This doesn't match, it doesn't uh, match. And this, the top and bottom doesn't match. And this, okay, so it can get a little bit messy. So, but with more practice, your visualization will improve. Okay, the next diagram, I can't draw it this way. This doesn't match. If I draw it this way, this doesn't match. Okay, and then her, um, diagonal definitely does not match as well. Okay, so next diagram. The first two is out. The next one, I can't draw it vertical because vertically down, this doesn't match with the left hand side. How about horizontal? No, because this, I still find things that are wrong. And 
horizontally definitely out that leaves us with our last answer the last answer I can draw vertically down I will have my answer straight away because the left and right matches then number four is the answer the top half of a symmetric figure shown above XY is the line of symmetry which one of the following completes the symmetric figure it's easier this way because they have given us the symmetric um, line of symmetry already so if we were to draw boxes at the bottom like this, so we shall match which one is the answer so there is one here so according to the equidistance from the line of symmetry this should be shaded and this one over here equidistance from the line of symmetry the one at the bottom will be shaded the last one at the top it's two squares away from the line of um, line of symmetry so i have two dots here and then so i match one dot two dot the bottom one should be shaded so now you can just match your answer and you will find number two is your answer and the figure shade three more squares to form a symmetric figure with a b as a line of symmetry note that the line of symmetry is horizontally drawn so you have to match the top and the bottom shaded squares and note you can only shade three more squares another reminder please use pencil so that when you check your answer and it's wrong you want to correct it you can always erase and shape the new one neater okay so let's match the top and bottom must match equal distance from the um, line of symmetry so let's look at this particular one that's in red we count the number of squares from the line of symmetry so it's one so we go downwards one so this must be shaded the next one we see that it's clear clear okay i am dotting it now on my paper but for you when you're doing you will use your pencil okay so the next two is clear but you look at the top two squares from the line of symmetry so i go down one two this is my answer and from here one one and this is one and a half so this square must be shaded the next one white colors clear and the last two done so my answer will be the three squares here line of symmetry drawn horizontally is difficult for you to solve the questions because some people prefer it left to right you can always flip your exam paper such that the line of symmetry becomes vertically drawn so let's look at the answer that i have um, the diagram that i have flipped it so same thing left and right and then the next one which is one square away so you shade this and then next nothing and nothing nothing and then the next one which is two squares away so you count one two so shade this the next one shaded so nothing and the one on the right hand side there's one square so one square and half half and one so i can shade this the next one nothing and half half is already shaded and that's my answer of course yours will be without the dots of identical triangles four of them are shaded shade two more triangles so that xy is the line of symmetry for the figure so same thing if you're not comfortable with using horizontal line of symmetry always rotate the paper such that it is easier for you to solve so since the line is drawn horizontally we will have to match top and bottom and the clue is you are supposed to shape only two more triangles so let's find there are a total of um, three on the top that means there must be three at the bottom so which means we need to shape two at the bottom so looking at this two it's already drawn 
So definitely we have to draw this and this triangle that's at the bottom. We will have to match it equal distance and the one at the bottom, this one will be my answer. Now the tricky one is the one at the top, right hand corner triangle. You will have to make sure that you have, you have drawn the correct triangle. What do I mean? Let's say I'm using purple. Let's say if you have drawn this because you think that it's symmetrical, how do you check? Observe that this square is the answer. Okay, because your triangle is two squares away. So now that leaves you with 50-50, half-half, thinking that which direction is the correct one. So one way you can check is looking at this point. This line here, two lines away. So you match dot dot dot. This is the line that matches this. Which means this part should be shaded. So now if I were to do it again one more time, I erase everything. Okay, so I match. I find this line that's here. So two squares away. This is my line. And then it goes down here. So go to the right and I go to the right. So obviously it matches, it forms a triangle and then it closes this gap to form a triangle. So this is my answer. This is a bit tricky for people who are not able to visualize. So if you can at home, you can use a mirror and you slot it in the middle, you should be able to see. The that we have here today, draw two straight lines to form a symmetric figure with XY. So the XY is here. This is the line of symmetry. Okay, then where are the two lines that's given? This is the first line. And this is the second line. Notice that it overlaps the line of symmetry. Okay, so always reminder, use pencil and ruler to draw it. Okay, so the trick to answer this question is to mark the points first. This is the first point and it's exactly on the line of symmetry. So there's nothing to worry about. The next one is this point. So you count how many square units from the line of symmetry. One, two. So since it's on the left hand side, you should go to the right hand side and you count two square units. And this is the point. Okay, so now my next step, I have to use my ruler and draw the line downwards, linking from this point all the way to this point. Okay, my line is not so straight because my ruler is attached to my iPad. Let me try again. Okay, this is the straightest. You get my idea. Okay, then the next point is this point. Notice that this point appears on the right hand side. So for it to be symmetrical, it should appear on the left. So we are going to count the square units again. One, two, three. So from the line of symmetry, one, two, three. This is the point. Don't worry, if you put an X on your diagram, you will not be penalized. Okay, so I have my points drawn. Remember, the last line that I've drawn is up to this X. So from this X, you will draw all the way down to your next point using a ruler. Okay, and that's your answer. How do you check? Given that this is the line of symmetry, you check this is the point and it matches two square units away. And then this point matches this point. You can see it's equal distance away. And your answer will be perfectly correct. The end of the revision for PSLE questions. 
If you have any questions or would like me to share more about the topic, please write it down in the comments below and please remember to subscribe 